Hiya, welcome to Yoga for Fibromyalgia. My name is Sarah and I'm a yoga teacher living with and healing fibromyalgia. This week's practice, constipation and IBS. Um, a typical sister uh, diagnosis with fibromyalgia. Um, and sorry that you're experiencing this. So let's do some yoga and see if we can ease that pain. We're going to start today lying down on our back. So take your time getting there. Maybe you're lying in bed or here on the mat. Let's bring our knees together, feet wide. Tuck the lower back into the floor or the mat. Make sure the head is comfortable. And I'm going to place my hands on my lower abdominals, on my lower stomach, intestines. And give them a little bit of a rub as I start to breathe deeply in and out through my nose. Maybe we want to rub the palms together and then we'll place them on the stomach as well. Sending energy and love to this part of our body. I hear you, body. While I'm here, I might uh, be willing to consider the idea of being blocked where in my life maybe I can see a pattern of getting stuck or getting blocked, hitting a wall and resisting forward action, forward movement. There's something maybe I'm not assimilating, I'm not allowing. Maybe. Maybe right now or maybe it was months ago, years ago, but I'm still clenching, holding, you did this. Maybe. With my next exhale, I naturally let it all go. Licking my lips. And maybe gently opening the eyes. Let's bring the knees uh, open and let them fall side to side. Move at your own pace. Mm. Exhaling as the legs fall. Inhaling through center line. Exhaling to the other side. I know when I'm experiencing this pain and this big bloating, I feel like I want to stay kind of stuck and stationary because I don't want to hurt it and it's really tender. But what we want to do is invite some movement, some gentle movement to see if we can, you know, get the gases out and get the accumulation out. Because the longer it stays in there, it becomes toxic for the body. We want it out. Okay. Let's straighten both legs out long. Oh, I'm a little tight today. And hip flexes as well. Maybe we can give them a rub. 
When we're ready, we're going to bring the right knee up towards the chest. This is called wind relieving pose. So let's interlock the fingers on the shin. See if we can kick the left foot as if we're pushing into an imaginary wall. Maybe we'll find some movement in the hip here. And also we're massaging the internal organs. And then maybe we'll stay here, bringing the knee up towards the chin. Relax the shoulders down, both feet right, big breath through the belly. Option here, next inhale, uh, lift the nose to the knee. Exhale, relax. Slowly release the right leg down and pause. And then take it to the other side. Got the left knee to locked. Right foot pushes away into an imaginary wall and we might find some movement here. And then we might pull it up towards the chin. Both feet right. Big exhale. Optional. Inhale, nose to knee. Exhale, release. And relax. Take a breath here. Exhale, let it go. Let's gently start to roll over onto one side. Take a couple of breaths here on the side. And then we'll gently creep up to a seat. Maybe crossing the legs, um, maybe sitting up on cushions, maybe sitting up on the chair, on the side of the bed. When we get there, let's start to make circles with the hip coming nice and forward and all the way back. And go at your own pace, churning, inviting movement, fluidity. The body is never stuck. And let's switch the direction. Really nice, coming back into center. I'm gonna take my right hand to the left side of my uh, abdominal region and inhale my left arm up and over and gentle side bend. Maybe turning my ear uh, down or maybe looking down. No big fancy pose here, just gentle side bend. Exhale, come back and take my left hand down to the right side. Inhale, right arm up. Exhale, bring the right hand down as well. And then bring both hands through center to the belly button giving the tummy a little bit of love. It's okay. Maybe rubbing the hips while we're there and all the legs, letting it go. Excellent.
nicely. So I'm going to come onto my hands and again let the knees fall side to side. Taking my time here, moving softly, gently. Now I'm going to swivel my legs around if I'm comfortable coming up onto my knees or I might pad the knees further with my blankie. If I'm able to sit up on the heels here, great. Or I might grab a block or even a couple of blocks and sit on them to raise my hips up. So a few moments to wait, catch up, um, wait for everyone to catch up. Sorry, I'm a bit fatigued. Now, while we're up here, let's just stay here for a moment because um, this is said to be one of the best poses for digestion, if not the queen of all poses for digestion. Why? Because we are cutting blood supply to the feet. Maybe we feel that already, which means there's more blood and oxygen for the digestive system. That's the theory anyway. But we want to sit up nice and tall here and breathe into the stomach. Notice if you're subconsciously clenching the stomach, clenching your ab muscles and let it be soft. If the knees are firing up here and it's not, um, it's not good for us, we might sit up even taller. We might just take a, a regular seat. Focusing on this region. Not focusing on all the pain and discomfort, but focusing on assimilation, movement. Now we're going to take our hands into fists and place them on the right side and on the left side. And inhale nice and tall here and exhale through the mouth, come all the way down. Inhale up, and we're gonna do that four more times. Exhale down. Inhale up, maybe the head touches the floor. Maybe not, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down, inhale up, this should be the fifth one, exhale down. Now we might pause here, head down or head on a cushion. next inhale gently coming back up relaxing the stomach coming off of this pose releasing the legs and maybe relaxing back here with the lift in the heart moving through the legs the feet the ankles mm. Any natural movements? Maybe give some love to the knees. Now we're going to come into a Shavasana and we might want to lay down or we might want to stay seated up. So I'll let you decide. I'm going to sit up. 
and bring my left knee, uh, I've completely forgotten the word, a heel, hybrid fog. So, maybe where some of our friends are lying in Shavasana, great, get comfortable, some of us are sitting up. Um, I just want us to allow a few moments to consider there may be um, out there idea that symptoms are my body's way of talking to me and that this is some kind of message. And notice how that feels to you. Crazy, ridiculous, or maybe, yes, maybe. It could be something logical like I ate too much or I ate too much of the wrong foods. And my body is just trying to tell me, don't do that, don't eat that. It's a message. But sometimes it happens very, without any kind of reason, supposedly. I could eat one thing one day without any bloating, without any constipation. And the next day, or in the next time, I eat the same thing. I have this so maybe it's not just the food could be how I eat the food did I rush it down was I distracted while I was eating I'm eating on the go is my stomach stressed I mean we often think about stress up here and stress here but there can be chronic stress going on in the stomach worry, fear, resistance. So rather than fight this message from my body, I'm willing to try and decode it. And of course, nourish my body, maybe give myself a tea, a caramel tea, or anything else that I know works for me during this time. A nice heat pad. And the more practice we have listening, hearing our body's messages, um, the less need it will have to lash out in symptom and illness. And that's why we come to yoga for self-connection, self and true self, what is not the body. If any thoughts are coming up here, um, I feel free to grab a journal, grab a pen and paper and write away. And also notice if this is really, this kind of talk, um, I don't know, irritates me or fires me up in some way, like, that's crazy, how can, how can it be because I'm resisting something, that's crazy. That's really good, like that lighting something in me and I should write about it definitely why am I so against this idea that's also um, self-care and practice so my friends 
I leave you now. Um, I really hope that this pain dissipates for you. Um, you don't deserve this pain. You deserve movement and freedom. And I hope that it's all coming for you. Thank you for practicing with me today. We'll bring the hands slowly together at the heart and bow. Namaste.